times. Uh, awesome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Jake, great to see you. Uh, can we deputize uh, some people? Um, Jake, are you down to uh, let people in um, and meet people if they get out of hand? Uh, and if anybody, you guys weren't on any events, uh, like, what was it, like two events ago, there was a, a, a weird hacking situation <laughs> where it turned like somebody's video came on like their 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 zoom got hacked and it got like the video got taken over and it was really dirty it um, is... that's all i'll say yes and you can guess on what was on the screen and we made it work it rocked <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what sometimes things get a little spicy you just gotta roll with it that was really spicy <laughs> all right so again welcome to the three to five high caliber consistent soul clients our intention for this web class thank you Twyla. is ultimately for you to be able to create and to scale your coaching business in alignment to who you are to be connected with your soul to come from this place of this divinity this centeredness this who you are, where your business is an expression of that, and your being comes forth into a way that you start attracting your people. We're not going to talk just about the being. We're going to have some strategy, and we're going to have the energy behind it because that's how we roll, and that is really the vibe of this session. So I want to just set this up that who this is for, right? The people that we attract into our world, you are someone, you know that you're called to be a coach. You know that you're called to make a difference in the world. You know that you are called to be I, I truly believe that coaching is a calling. I think that in the past few years, it was this gold rush of people that were like, oh yeah, money is in the coaching. I'm going to coach. And now it's 2024. I feel like we've dissipated a lot of those people and the people that are here that are standing. It is a calling for us. Yes. Do you feel that? And I, I want to really get into um, setting up this container and setting up this space of that it is a calling. And I want this to be very interactive. I want to hear from you in the chats. We're going to be responsive in the chats. We're right here with you. This is like a conversation. This is a flow. Um, and I'll, go ahead. Yeah, the one thing I want to say is like, whoever thought that like living in your calling would be easy. <laughs> like, is anybody like, yeah, you know, this calling stuff, it, it'll just be kind of like a walk in the park. And very simple, like those are probably not the people that we really want. Like if you think that like living in your calling and fully fulfilling in this and really having the alignment and having the impact and having the the, the money and being able to make a, like a really great is e like it can be with ease, but not easy. So there if you're looking for like a defining <laughs> something that's easy, um, this is probably not for you. Right. So we'll just kind of put that out there. And I, I just something's just coming to me as you're saying that is like this conversation of ease, the easy when we have challenges in our life, when there are obstacles and things that we get to overcome, it's how we strengthen our character. Right. So I'm almost I'm at the not almost I'm at the point in my life where at there was a time when I was like, I just want things to be easy and it'll just be great. But now uh, we have this thing in our in our world where we talk about being the buffalo. I literally even have a toy, excuse me, a toy buffalo like in our bathroom to remind me. And the difference between a buffalo and like regular cattle is that the buffalo runs when there's a storm coming, the buffalo runs to the storm because they know that when they run through to the storm, there's no resistance. They can get through the storm faster and then get to wherever that they need, whatever buffaloes do, whatever they know. Mm -hmm. But the cows, they're like, oh crap, it's a storm. Let's go. And they try to run from the storm and it creates all this exist like resistance and stress. And like, so I've come to this place in my life that not that I'm inviting in challenges or saying that it has to be hard or it has to be challenging, but, and during the times when it is, because I fully accept ease and I fully love peace. Don't mishear me here, but there's times when we can face the challenges head on, be like the Buffalo the triggers of the transformation and we can move through them and it makes us so much more powerful than where we were before the storm. Yeah, so. exactly. And so somebody else that we really are like who this is for is just like somebody that is like responsible, fully responsible for your life. 
somebody that is like, like I cause my life. I am cause in the matter of my life. I'm the cause of the matter of this business working. I'm causing the matter of my life working. I'm causing the matter of working through the challenges that are going to get me to my purpose and that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Like that's who we are. This is for. Yes. Yes. And again, we're going to go, I just want to kind of set the vibe of this container. We're going to be going for about an hour, hour and a half ish. If this is your first webinar. I actually set it for two, but okay. Yes. Possibly two. Okay. Two is like the cap window because sometimes we've set it in the past for an hour and then we go over and I want to be so mindful of your time. My intention for you to walk out of this masterclass, having discovered something within yourself that, or in, and, or in your business that is missing that you can go apply, um, seeing, things from a different perspective that you may not have seen before we're going to be very interactive whether we are like us right here we have a few slides we're not going to go full slide on you but there are a couple of them um and we like to make it fun will so you guys let us slide on that <laughs> we like to have it fun if, if you're not like chad is the master of all puns um so we you have gotta like puns <laughs> you gotta like but yeah that's who this is this for. is gonna be serious punishment <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> Anymore? No. Okay. I'm sure there'll be more, but not right now. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> so we have a few slides. We're also going to, in those slides, we have some movies. We have found that it is so much more entertaining to share our story and a little bit about us through cinematics rather than just you here listening to us ramble on and on. So we have a nice variety of ways of presenting today that I'm really excited for. And I'm really excited for you to really to get to get what you get yeah, so for. who's down for seeing our face a little bit seeing some slides and watching watching some a few movies. movies watching some people like yourself that have gotten amazing results like who's down for that and and, and us actually teaching from that just like the chat if you guys don't know where the chat is sounds good sounds good awesome. oh i love this the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are mm. yes love it and when you create outside of anything less than who you truly are, it tends to be harder. <laughs> and we talked about the challenges and stuff, but that is a part of all of it. it is not, um, I almost feel it's not a becoming who you truly are, but it's an unbecoming of what society has told you, right? And just this de-shedding and this deconditioning of all the stories and all of the things. I digress, we will get there. All right, so who this is not for. Pretty much if you didn't vibe with any of that, it's probably not for you. We are not uh, out to impact the coaches who are here just to make quick money. Like I need money now. This is a not a get quick rich thing. This is becoming an established uh, authority in your industry and in your niche so that you are attracting high caliber people to you. That doesn't always mean that it's going to happen overnight. Of course, sometimes it does. We're not putting any guarantees into it the length of time. So if you're someone who's like, I need this, I need this now, I want this, I'm here to be a coach because I heard that the money was great. And you know, I just want to make a bunch of money and have the freedom internet lifestyle. There is a home business opportunity space that is just for you. There's actually you can sell your stool uh for five hundred dollars a day. <laughs> um I, I no joke. <laughs> so you can message Chad if you want some more information about that. That is a real thing. Got to get your hands dirty a little, but you know. <laughs> um, all right. I said that there was a good, that was, there wasn't enough break there. All right, let's go. All right. So let's share our screen and I, let's share our screen and get into some of these beautiful slides. Um, and I'm curious, do we have any first time people? Like, is there anyone on here that this is your first time coming to one of our web classes? You're new to our world. There's a <laughs> Christian, Hallie, I think I haven't seen you around much. Uh, so welcome, welcome, Mike. Um, awesome. Cool. Well, let's. First time. Well, well welcome. It we are... will be an experience. <laughs> it's kind of our thing. Uh, are, is there any videos in this? Because you got to hit the share with sound. Oh, yeah. I have totally made that mistake before. Here, can you share it? And you can... yeah. I did a whole web class and I totally didn't hit that button. It was it was like a big 45 minute like breath journey. I go. had to re-record. All right. Thing. Does everybody see the slides? <laughs> Checking in. Let's get a 
All right. All right. Awesome. So let's get to present. I okay, still have... see the slides. <laughs> I'd rather you give me a thumbs up and and I know for sure and be a little bit like whatevering than like you guys staring at a wall for whatever and we think we're staring straight this <laughs> time. We're on a roll. All right, awesome. So again, welcome three to five high caliber soul clients. Our intention is to create and scale your coaching business in alignment to who you really are. So for those of the people who are on here for the first time, who are we? And for the people who've been here for a few times, I am so grateful for all of you that you keep coming back. And here's a reminder, I know that you love the movies and you love the stories. So real quick, um, my name is Holly. This is my incredible husband, Chad. He's my best friend. He's my life partner. We have a little cute baby together. She's actually not a baby anymore. She's almost four. I can't believe it. So we've personally worked with hundreds of coaches, have helped them put their coaching business together. We've spoken on stage individually for thousands of people. Uh, we're two comma club earners. We've combined coaching over oh, yeah. 20 years now within and been in sales and marketing for over 25 years, not 23 years. I don't want to age me too much. I, I do a lot of health stuff. So I know I'm, I'm a me <laughs> anyways, we've invested over six figures in our personal development, our leadership skills, our modalities so that we can serve at a higher and deeper level for you guys, right? We've personally healed. I've personally healed from complex regional pain syndrome. I started my business in a hospital bed. Originally I was in a wheelchair told I was never going to walk again. I've had brain trauma. We're going to go into a very slightly kind of that stuff. I've had memory loss, PTSD, all the trauma, all of the stuff. I know that everyone has a story of why they're coach, that why they're a coach, and that has certainly been a part of mine. And we'd love to hear a little bit about. Tell us in the chat, like, what do you, who do you coach, what do you coach on, and what got you coaching? Um, as much as this could be interactive, the better, because we, and we want to know more about what you guys are up to, uh, because we can make this even better for you. Tailor this to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. We've been able to create this for ourselves, having freedom to travel, Everybody hear this? be with family, create our own life. And we've been able to impact thousands of coaches doing what we love. Our income continues to grow as we do what we love in the service of people who love what we do. Awesome. See, the story is so much funner when we watch the cinematic. Mm -hmm. However, it wasn't always this way. And we haven't always worked with coaches. So when Chad and I first got together, actually, why don't you share this? Yeah, so we were running an agency and we were actually uh, offering Facebook ads to pretty much everybody. And then we went uh, on the road, nomadic, and we ran out of money. And we end up living with our accountant in her grandson's stinky bedroom. Oh, this is part of the movie. This is part Don't of the movie. Don't ruin the movie. Don't ruin the movie. All right. All right. We'll just say that we joined forces. We started a done-for-you agency, working with everybody, and it was miserable. And it led us to one of the darkest moments to date. Now, wait. It wasn't always this way. So I'm from the future, and this is our past. We discovered that I have no money for lunch, and Holly is sending her last $6 to me so we can buy one sandwich and split it. On top of that, we're living in our accountant's grandson's stinky room, working on our business nonstop. We, we weren't on our soul path and things just started to fall apart. See, it's much better with the movies. Mm -hmm. So I started having seizures. We're going to share a little bit more about that in a little bit that a little bit later here. But I will say we did not let that stop us. <laughs> we did not. We did not. Uh, how do I get this? It's a good question. Uh, -da -da. So the big thing here is, is that I, I remember being at our accountant's like house and I remember standing there as I'm like selling I'm starting to sell funnels and we're starting to make money and I remember Holly leaning against a wall and just sliding down the wall and then hitting the ground and then starting to convulge 
And I, I was like freaked the F out. Like I never, I don't think I've ever seen anybody have a seizure in, in real life. And I called, we called 911, went to the, like went to the, the urge or uh, ER. They basically like, shamed us called us like drug addicts and like thought we were like just getting wanting to get pills or something and gave her some saline came back and it was like we we, we now have we're now having money because we, we were able to start selling you know we had a 2000 we went from like broke to to like starting to offer funnels and a agency work where i could sell it and holly was you know doing the work and now she's like hustling to do all this work that i'm selling and it just was way too much i think this was a great lesson of alignment right because what starts happening is when you break it down and you know no fault of the doctors they know what they know and they don't know what they don't know and there's a play it's fine so what I discovered in this journey, what really what we both discovered, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, which is why I love working with coaches, is that you get everything, all of the internal things that you're working towards. If you are not following your life path, if you are not following your soul path, if you are not doing the thing that you are called to do, there will be a loud wake up call to get you back on that path. Yes. <laughs> and this was my loud wake up call. Like I knew I knew that I wasn't supposed to be building funnels and having this ad agency and writing copy for knee pain doctors and construction workers. And like, it was so boring. So we were literally traveling all over the place and it would drive me crazy that I would, we were right on the ocean view, but I was so busy getting this work done that I wasn't able to go out there and I wasn't able to enjoy it. And I was so out of alignment because I knew with every fiber of my being that I was here to serve people and to work in the transformation space and help them get through their stuff to break the captives free. Like that has been something that I have heard since I was very young is like my mission in this world is to set the captives free so that they can have freedom, healing and transformation in their life. And being on a seat all day long in front of a computer building funnels was not it. Right. And so that's why we want to share this with you guys. It's like this was the hard lesson for us of doing what you love in the service of people who love what you do. And we're going to talk about that more in just a minute here and being in alignment with yourself, being in alignment with your calling. Oh, I feel this in a full body, like doing what you're here to do on this earth, regardless, like the money will come, right? All of that stuff matters. And if you aren't in your soul path, if you aren't doing the things that you know, and you're not listening to your truth, it will come up somewhere in your body as a dis-ease, right? That's what disease is, is there's a dis-ease in our body somewhere that needs to be addressed and needs to get back into a homeostasis, which is a place of alignment, right? That is how our physical bodies are created. So having these seizures were a huge wake-up call for us of things that definitely needed to shift. And we, we're going to go into a moment of how we discovered who our perfect coaches are, who our perfect coaches are, who our perfect clients were, like those high caliber clients for us. But I want to flip this because this isn't all about us, right? This is about you. This is about the people that you're serving and what you're up to in the world. So I want to hear in the chat from you guys, what is that high caliber client for you? What qualities do they have? What really matters to you in a client that makes them a really exceptional client? And I want to hear it in the chat. Like, um, do they make fast decisions, right? That's, that's like, I want to hear some qualities. Do they like to pay in full? Some people like prefer pay in full. Some people like payments. I I personally love both of them. I'm okay with all of it. <laughs> um, do they, let's see, do they make fast decisions? Are they people of integrity, right? One of the biggest things that Chad and I did for ourselves is during that time we went to an event. It was, we had already scheduled it before all of this health stuff. And we went anyway, because that's just who we are in the world. We hold our commitments. So we went to this event and during this entire weekend, they talked about integrity, not integrity of morality, but integrity of being your word and your word is your source of power. And when you weren't your word in areas, that's when things didn't work, right? And if you've ever heard of Landmark Worldwide, this is the place that we were at. We went through quite a bit of Landmarks trainings and Landmarks programs throughout the years. And what we discovered in that 
time period is that we were lacking integrity in our lives with other people, with ourselves, right? So integrity has become one of the most, like the foundation of everything that we do. We literally have integrity meetings. Where are we out of integrity? What is out of integrity? If they're ever feeling stop or stuck in the world, okay, what is going on? Where is there an uh, out of integrity, right? So maybe in, you have the same value of integrity and being your word, doing what you said you're going to do. And that's important to you and having a client. So what are some people saying? So uh, they make health their top priority and they're yes. ready to invest and do the work. Yes. Peak performing corporate execs that are way too stressed out um, and it's costing them a lot on all levels, including marriage and health and work issues. Yes. People that value the service I provide when they do, they follow through. Awesome. Um, ready to change, open minded, open heart with the money and time to invest. Mm hmm. We can just go back and forth. They want to make the world more life-serving, willing to learn. Oh, I love that. And really take responsibility for their lives. Absolutely. Small business, pay up front, copywriter, content specialist. Boom. Cool. I and love Landmark. Woo! -hoo! Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Land, uh, Landmark Insight ES. Yep. I'm a copywriting content specialist. graduate here. Ooh. Awesome. Monica. Landmark Insight. <laughs> yes. Um. I help couples discover, I feel like this is like uh, coming back from like the conversation before. Uh, that's awesome. Um, awesome. And so see, this just goes to show, right? And we're going to talk about messaging. We're going to talk about like how this works. But we talked about Landmark mm -hmm. and how integrity is important and how it's like the foundational thing here. And I can just see like, I love Landmark. I'm a fellow graduate here. I'm Landmark. I'm Landmark, right? And we don't have Landmark necessarily in our messaging. However, you know, we're going to get into the being and how the attraction works. And I just, I love to see that there's so many people here who are, who are, have done the landmark forum or have been in the landmark work, because that tells me that integrity matters to you and you get this conversation of integrity. So what is landmark and what do they do? So landmark is a uh, personal development company. It's more of a broad um, personal development company. You're more than welcome to check them out at landmarkworldwide.com. If you have an opportunity to do the forum, it can be transformational for you. And I get no credit for that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what we do is, uh, well, we do this. Um, we'll be sharing a lot more of like what we specifically do and like how we help uh, coaches. But I'd like to know more about what you do. Uh, so you're the co uh, copywriter, um, Mike, is that um, yeah. okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, welcome. Um, so let's keep going. Where, uh, is the slides now? Um, yes. Awesome. So I want to share a story of how we came to like, you know what? Coaches are our ideal people. I don't want to work with knee pain doctors anymore. I don't want to work with hair restoration clinics. I don't want to work with, uh, what else? We had knee pain, knee pain doctors, hair restoration clinics, uh, construction workers, like the whole shebang. It was terrible. However, in our agency travels, we got the opportunity to sponsor an event in LA. Mind you, I was still having seizures and we're like, yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no high achievers here at all. <laughs> But it was such a pinnacle moment and why we're sharing this and why we work with coaches and how we even discovered a lot of our frameworks, which is exactly why we're sharing all of this for you. So it's all going to come together, I promise. So at this event, this is his name is Steve Farber. He's a leadership coach. We met with two different we had two clients at this event. And the whole title of this event or the whole theme of it was do what you love in the service of people who love what you do. And it just grabbed us like, oh, oh my gosh, like, what would that be like? Like, what would it look like to do what you love in the service of people who love what you do? That would be incredible. That feels mm -hmm. amazing. That is like a full body. Yes. Like I, I need to work with the people that I love and that love what I do. Give me more of that. What does that look like? You ever hear that uh, ask and you shall receive? Mm -hmm. Ha. So these clients that we had at, uh, that we met at this event, there, one of them was a publicist, great person. She was just, she's a whole vibe in herself. And the other person was a neuro performance coach. 
And the, like I said, she was a whole vibe in herself and the neuro performance coach was so passionate about what she did. It's like, she knew she was on this planet to work with people. She, it was just like, she, I just loved every, I still love every piece of her. Right. And when we were looking at the dynamics of, you know, one, and, and I won't even say just her, but there's like a special set of people who are just very about themselves, very ego driven, very money driven, and there's nothing wrong with it at all. Right. It's just who they be. And that's, that's totally cool. And then there's this other set of people who are so heart centered and lead with soul and lead with passion and lead with expertise that like, I'm like her, like, I want more of neuro performance coach who cares that she, about her clients and makes a huge difference with people. If I could take my 23 years in sales and marketing and my funnels and all of that stuff, those are the people that I want to work with. Bada bing. And it's not just neuro performance coaches. It's, no, it's health good. coaches. It's uh, other like performance coaches. It's um, life coaches. The, it's it's trauma coaches. It's it's really anybody that's just really called to make a deep impact on the world. That is a leader. That is that is out to make this impact and difference in the world. That you know they want to do what they love in the service of people that love what they do, right? And and so we're going to give you a heads up here. This next slide. This is a seizure. You will. This is somehow it got recorded and we got it. it Holly started having seizures and we seizures ended up moving back in with my mom. And Holly was fully convulging on the bed and had been seizing for 20, 30 minutes. I'm dumping CBD down her throat. I'm giving her mouth to mouth. And then she wakes up. Are you here? And she said something that completely terrified me. Who are you? I'm really trying to figure out the pieces and pick up pieces of who I am and what I know. She didn't know who she was. She didn't know she had kids. She had no memory. We knew something drastic had to change. Life couldn't keep going the way it was going. As she healed and worked with functional doctors and functional neurologists, she wanted to get back into her business. What we realized is no memory meant no limiting beliefs or stories. So when I was relearning and learning about our business, I saw very clearly what had worked and what didn't work. It's how our entire quantum impact model was created. Boom. So we share all of this to say that I believe every pain, every circumstance that happens in our life is used 1 million percent for us. I truly believe that with every single fiber of my being. Mm -hmm. You guys all have a story of why you're coaches and why you do what you do. This time in our life allowed us to create the entire model of our business. I did not know much of anything and we're not going to go too too far in depth because i want to be mindful of everyone's time but what i will say is i knew one thing very clear and that i was here to make a difference in people's lives and that i didn't have space to build anything less than what was in alignment to what i was what i what i needed and we shut our our agency down at that time and we created this entire model and we started bringing coaches through it and I'm curious if any of you guys would like to see this model and what was created from what everyone else in the world would probably look at like, oh my gosh, to be actually one of the most powerful transformational experiences in our entire life. Care to see it? I know there's a little bit of delay. If you can give, even give a thumbs up or yes, yes. Awesome. Hey, welcome, Laura. Awesome. Great job. Jake's sneaking people in. Jake, you deserve a raise. All right. No slides for this one because Chad draws this so much better. Sorry. Even uh, on a trackpad. <laughs> so what we really, when we, we went to the whiteboard. So when we were staying at Chad's mom's house, the, the, how, the whole wall was a great giant whiteboard. 
right? So what we did is we just, we went to town on that whiteboard. We're like, all right, when they got this, this, and this, this happened. And when we, they didn't have this, then this happened. So this needs to be a part of it. And we're like, how do we put this all together? So ultimately, what it is that you're really out for in your life is you're out for abundance. Yes. Like an and abundance, like that is, what does abundance mean? That's a very broad term. Well, for us, abundance means having freedom in your life, freedom to choose, freedom if you want to go on the beach and actually go enjoy the beach, um, freedom to work your hours, how you want it, when you want it, your coaching packages, what that looks like, the access points that people have with you. Uh, in the impact, right? You, you're out to make a difference in the world. If you just make a bunch of money and you don't have impact, I don't believe that's abundance at all. I think that there's, you can make money and be absolutely miserable, but abundance is this whole picture of wealth, freedom, and impact. And in order to do that online, it's going to take three things. The first thing is going to be attract, right? You, you get to attract your audience. You start building up an audience of your ideal people. You get to enroll. You get to have incredible offers that make a deep transformation and fulfill on the promises that you said that you would do in your messaging. And this third piece is this transform play piece. There's a transformation that is happening in you. And I promise you that it is never ending. It is always going on. And I can even guarantee it probably like if you went to our workshop last month, I am not the person last month that I was this month because I'm always growing. I'm always evolving. I'm committed to my inner growth and removing blind spots and resistance points. And I'm like the Buffalo man, right? And I know this is that's one of the reasons I love, just one of the 500 reasons that I love Chad is because he's a Buffalo too. And he's we're always willing to look at our stuff so that we can be the best person that we can be and we can serve at a higher level. So- we will not have time to go through all of this. We totally can. Like, let's go through the basics real quick. So in order to attract, and I apologize, I'm moving a little fast here, but I want to make sure we get into the meat and potatoes of all this. In order to attract people online, it's going to take a few things. It's going to take your messaging. We call this impact messaging, and we're going to break it down even further. It takes building a community of some sort, right? And we'll talk about who, where, what, why, all of those things. And it's going to take your content. Right. People follow people who have really great content. Like, let's just be real. People go on social media for dopamine hits and you get to be the dopamine hit for other people. So now when you are enrolling, what that's going to look like is ultimately you want to have, we call it a true north program, right? This is a program that is so heartfelt. It is in your soul already. Every single one of you have it um, and it's bringing it out and packaging it in a way that's really effective. It's going to take an empowered client attraction process, right? We're going to walk through this entire process today. So you see, we even have this cool little map that you can follow the map, but having a, you know, we're very energy, very alignment, but it's also having a process. I, that's what I, I love about us is we very much balance this masculine and feminine of flow, transformation, being, but also process and structure and making sure that you have the success in your business. And in this transform piece, what we consist and what we put there is we call it the momentum profit plan. So knowing what you're doing on a daily basis that's going to move the needle forward will take away like overwhelm. Anytime there's overwhelm in your business, it's because there's some lack of structure somewhere. So what there is to do is take a step back and start putting structure into your day so that you're not, that overwhelm will go away when you have some clarity, Right. The next piece is blind spots and alignment. We're going to talk about soul gifts. We're going to talk about your soul path and following your alignment and recognizing the blind spots that come up and have really effective tools to be able to clear those blind spots and move forward so that you are absolutely unstoppable. And then leverage comes in this transform piece because it is a mindset. We are so programmed. There is like a the entrepreneurial mindset is a huge shift. And the entrepreneurial mindset and thinking in the terms of, you know, like the who, not how, and, you know, how can we look at this in a way that is like 10x? I don't know if you guys have ever read that book, 10x is easier than 2x. 
but looking at things in a way where how are you leveraging yourself? How is there, how are you using tools so that you can get out there to the masses of more people, right? If we were to talk to each and every single one of you individually, I would super enjoy that. And it would probably drain me after conversation 10 or 15, I might need a break, right? So this is a great way to have leverage and build leverage in your business. And yes, there will be a replay available. So unfortunately, we do not have time to go through every single piece of this and tell you of all the how-tos of everything, but this is the model that was created while I was healing from brain trauma, while I was following my alignment, my soul calling, and while I really I partnered with this man right here into a whole new journey and a whole new chapter in our life that I feel this is what we're here to do. So what we are going to do is, um, no worry. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we are going to break down the, I don't know if you want to make a little. Yeah. So we're going to break down, um, getting into the micro niche. We're going to get clear on like where they are, but we're going to kind of scratch the surface of this over here. And then we're really, if you look at this, it's like this, like the clearing the blind spots and getting into alignment equals or, uh, being. And we're going to get into the being, like, who do you need to be to track the, attract these high caliber clients? And uh, so we're going to, we're going to touch on all of those. All right. Are Let's you go. ready? Let's go. Cool. So having this entire model, this is, this will be what gets you to about six figures in your business, moving to seven, right? So that's the goal. And let me get back to my notes here. I'm like, we've barely followed our notes, but I like to just have them up. <laughs> you guys do that? Like I write notes and then I'm like, eh, we'll just go. All right. So first things first, you guys shared what really matters in your ideal clients and what that looks like for you. So we created, after we went to the Steve Farber event, we had the whiteboard. Chad did the, I love his like, we have an idea. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Okay, watch this. And so I think we need to share this amazing framework that really helped us decipher that these were the people and this was the qualities and to really implement this, do what you love in the service of people who love what you do. So let's start there to make sure that you, you in order to attract your high caliber clients, you got to know who your high cl caliber clients are, right? If there's one thing that I found, especially as, you know, we've been online Chad and I have both been online since 2013. Like it's been a little bit. And back in the day, it was so easy to just talk about everything and have all of these, like talk about whatever I feel like today <laughs> and not necessarily have a specific niche, niche, however you want to say that, however, wherever you're at in the world, <laughs> it's pronounced different everywhere. And what I've found is that the clearer you can be on who you work with, when you can be that specialty, right? When you specialize in someone in something, then that's where you can get your messaging really, really clear, like really clear. And when people, they see you, they know what you're about. They know who you are. They know what you do for people. That's when you can get those people who make best decisions. Like, oh, this is me. This is what I need. Yeah. Right. So one of the things that... Uh we were always taught and maybe you guys have, I'm just curious who's ever done an exercise to come up with who your ideal client is. I'm just curious. on like, like what, what have you done? And, 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 and what did it come up? Like maybe outside of like, that's cool. If you came, if you, because we have a few clients here. So if you want to share what's came up for you doing the exercise that we come up with, but I'm curious if anybody else has done any exercises to, to discover who that maybe you've gone through a bunch of them. Um, one of the main ways that I've been taught before we came up with this is, you know, who are the people that have the money to pay you? That's one thing. That's usually where most people focus. I mean, some people stop there, right? They just stop in the sense of like who actually has the money to pay you. Then uh, some people uh, might get to, okay, well, who can you get easy results for? Like, who are the people that you, you can get, you know, 
I always say like if they called you at three in the morning and they woke you up and they asked you a question, you could completely change their life. Like those type of people, right? Like I, I find like some of the stuff that, um, you know, one of the reasons we work with coaches is because coming up, like just there's this like minor shifts that we can do that will, will just freaking shift your whole life and business just minor things. It's just very simple to, to, to do. Right. And, and that's why we, we kind of chose that. So, and then profit, you know, obviously like starting to look at, okay, so uh, who has the money to pay? Is it entrepreneurs? Is it executives? Is it CEOs? Is it, you know, a lot of people want to go down that route. They're like, okay, how do I get CEOs? They have the money or people that are entrepreneurs that run seven figure companies. I need to focus there. You don't necessarily need to go that high to find somebody that's going to be able to invest in a program, uh, unless you have like a multi five figure program or something like that. But what we realized after going to the Steve Farber event was this was all, um, it was missing, right? It was missing something. And it was the love. So it's, you start off with who are the people you can make the biggest impact with? I, I look at this two ways. Who are the people that you can make effortless impact with where it's it's just simple, right? Like, like if somebody comes to you and they can ask a question, you can just boom, just you can just shift them and help them really easily. Um, the other one a way I look at it with impact is just like when you shift their life, they make a huge impact and ripple effect with other people. Like who is out? I'm just curious who here is out for making a ripple effect in the world. Like I'm out. Yeah, I'm out to make a ripple effect. So if I can help you guys that are, that go out and make a ripple effect with a bunch of other people, that is what it's all about. Right. So those are the two ways I look at impact. Then it's love. You know, who are the people that I just I would. We have a rule. We won't enroll you in our program in the called coach if we wouldn't go out to dinner with you. If I'm not going out to dinner with you, wouldn't take you out for dinner, then you can't come into the program. Sorry. Um, that's why we still do calls because we could probably enroll a ton of people. We could just send links. Hey, here's a link and you can pay here. Um, but we still do calls to screen people to make sure that they're a good fit, that they, they pass the go out to dinner test. Um, and then we have one-on-one -on -one clients and those one-on-one -on -one clients, it, if we wouldn't go on like a, go to a retreat or a, a, a conference or something over like a multiple We're time. hanging out for a couple of days. Yeah, a couple of days. <laughs> you might see, see me without my makeup, um, you know. <laughs> if if that if we're not that close then uh, you're not welcome into one on one and so it's like the love right like who are the people that we really really enjoy you got to like seafood yes for us to like you got to like dogs I I'm literally just discovered i have dog treats in my pocket like <laughs> who does that <laughs> you're wondering why they're just following you around the neighborhood oh, like, um, i'm like a dog whisperer i'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious so, and then profit, just looking at like who has the resources that can pay you that can, not just the one, the program that you're coming up with now, but we call, we talk about the slap the donut out of your hand program. We had a client, Amber, she uh, had a program was a hundred thousand dollars. She would actually go and live in your guest house or, you know, like a wing of your house or whatever. And, and they would basically come and uh, go through your, she'd go through your pantry and go shopping with you. And then basically make sure that your family is like all on board with the health. She teach you how to meal prep. She taught how to read the labels yep. and how to grocery shop and see what was actually good for you and what was not and create a whole custom. I mean, it was to the nine. Yeah. Two weeks, hundred thousand dollars. Pretty good. Um, so thinking about that like who is your person that has those resources now we don't need to start there um we don't need to start there but uh but it's just somewhere to something to just think about right like who that could potentially be so was this valuable just want to check in with everybody so thanks dan great to see you by the way yeah As welcome always. it's a very festive shirt you got there He's always standing out and super festive. Indeed. 
I was actually going to say, do you want to do the four? Oh, yes. We oh. have all these fun names for our, our drawings. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, that, that's going into the next one. That's going into the messaging. Oh. Yes. So, uh, oh, we wanted to share one of our uh, clients. Do, do, do. So we want to talk about um, Tilda. And then we want to get into, and we'll talk more about the messaging. We talked about impact messaging, everybody cool, seeing... Uh, I'm just curious, like, what is coming up for you with that perfect triangle? Who is that person? I see a couple of people of like, it was me a few years ago. That's awesome. And I would even invite you to get like the more clarity and we'll talk about the messaging here so that mm -hmm. you can, it's like, how can you call them out? Like if you had to, I work with blah, 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 we're going to go kind of surface level and then start going deeper, mm -mm. deeper as we go through the training. And then you want to... Yeah, love has come through the compassion, understanding of healing from traumatic brain injury. Yeah. Well, nope. Yeah, that'll do that. I know what that's like. And I'm so grateful that you've been able to crush that. And we, we have so many... I, I did the sound thing. Oh, we have to do the sound thing. Oh, is it automatically? I guess it's automatically. Good. Sorry, guys. I'm a noob. <laughs> Zoom sharing noob? Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally not a noob, but yeah. All right. Tilda is amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's hear from Tilda. Um, I've been working with Chad and Holly for six months now, and um, the impact itself it's what I thought I was delivering um, to my clients, but I have grown to really develop um, and get clarity. Clarity being one of my core key words and Chad and Holly have pushed me so far into clarity and just feeling so good about um, just being someone that's, that's growing a serial legacy. Um, watching my vision just coming to global impact and reaching more and more people in the six months from where I was before with one or two just trickling in. And now there's a steady schedule for clarity calls, um, clarity on my content, clarity on my marketing, clarity on my strategy, clarity on my signature program. I went from trying to launch one program, one training every 30 days to now having a mastermind program that's ongoing and people can come in, um, you know, on their time and I can work with people on a 10 month basis and just um, expand that and just keep growing and growing and growing. And, and Chad and Holly are not just there on a pop call, Chad and Holly are there dedicated to give us support all, at all times. They are accessible. It's true accessibility. It's true support. It's true wrapping around the networks and what I have needed. So I am just so in awe of where the progress and how the progress has happened in just six months. And I'm excited to see what the next year is going to be. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, income wise, I've gone to barely um, 1K, 1,000 in a month now to hitting it like five to 10 every month. So I'm excited. Thank you guys. Tilda is now, she just published a book. Her branding is on fire. Like she's, she's freaking amazing. Yeah. So the, one of the things I think is, and then we're going to get into the messaging right um, next. And, and one of the things I think that's just amazing about what she's doing, she's like stepped into this messaging of being the coach mentor. So like she's been certifying coaches forever, but she didn't, I don't believe that she had that messaging. She like, it wasn't as sharp. It wasn't really speaking. And the other thing was, um, 
the clarity, right? Getting really clear around the 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 messaging, really clear on the niche and who, who exactly her people are. I mean, there was a point because she works with like, you know, women co like they want to be coaches or that are our coaches that are like evangelists and that are like and like and like Christians and like super like like those people right but when she came to us that was not the messaging that was not the that was not the thing right she was just like anybody that wants to get certified as a coach anybody you be a life coach you want to be a life coach I got you hey life coach exactly yeah. and <laughs> and she was just trickling one certification every month in every you know every once in a while and then and then we were able to just consistently get a bunch and then we start taking her out where she wasn't even in the certification and she only does the mastermind and it's just really impressive of where she's been able to to go so um oh and don't listen to her we're not available at all times do not message <laughs> well you can message us at, at in the more in the in the middle of the night but we are not going to be answering so and that's what you get Same. to do as you grow and evolve your business is you get to always be growing and evolving your business. And how can you serve? I've actually found that we can serve at a higher capacity by not being available all the time and being able to refuel and take care of ourselves. My nine to 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> I'll be cranky. So. Um, so it's at three, three o'clock in the morning and you'll hear from us around 11. I sleep with airplane <laughs> mode on. So you that's not true. we have an accountability call. So you can come in at nine. <laughs> if you're <out. laughs> yes. Um, all right. Let's share some screens and, or the whiteboard and get into uh, what we call the um, the cake method. So ultimately, here's the thing. And as he's erasing, I'm going to talk a little bit. So ultimately, and I've seen a couple of you guys here your ideal clients are like, I want to work with the high performers. I want to work with executives. I want to work with CEOs. Like the, the, when we talk about this conversation of high caliber, it's not like they're better than anyone else. They just, they're out for things in the world, right? And they, they make decisions fast and they're caring and they have integrity and they're heartfelt and they care about their health and, you know, all, I actually, it's so interesting. I'm going to give this to some people. I saw a reel the other day of like how to make really great friends that are like really high quality friends. And I don't know, I'll just give it to you guys. Maybe you can get some clients too, is to join a really high end gym. Mm. Because people who are a part of high end gyms, they care about themselves. They care about their health. They, they're willing to spend money on their themselves because mm -hmm. they're out to big do big things in the world so if you're ever doing like some targeting or want to meet some people maybe it's in a high high-end gym oh, but yeah. anyways so um ultimately in order to attract those high caliber people it's five 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 by the way oh, yeah. you get to really get into the heart and the soul of who they are so it's great that some of you said like, oh, it's me in the past. I would say it's even you in the past, but maybe you're the you in the past is doing something different, but they just want the same result that you had, right? But you got to, if you get into this mind of this person who's got high integrity, they, they got stuff going on in their life, they're working towards something, their health matters, they're probably pretty busy people, right? And so getting into the mind of, who your clients are will expand your messaging phenomenally. And when you have your messaging down on point, and I just had this comment the other day, like, oh my gosh, this speaks to my soul. How did you know? Mm. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Oh my goodness. Like how, what? I am mind blown. Who are you? I need to dive deeper into this. That happens when your messaging is really great. I feel like you need to make a triangle on this so it actually looks like a cake. So we call this the cake method. But if you're looking and being in the space of, of a high caliber client and those ideal clients, they're very busy. They have a lot going on. Maybe they scroll for, a, they have little, their scroll times. They may even have boundaries of when their scroll times are, right? So what it is matters to them when they first see you online is really has nothing to do with you at all. Yeah, actually, we're going to be showing a video here of one of our clients in a minute, but I, I'll tell the story of her real quick. So when she came to us, she worked with uh, neurodivergent parents that have neurodivergent kids to help them emotionally connect to their kids. And as 
great as that sounds, if you don't know what neurodivergent means, uh, then that completely like cuts that person out of the, the fold, right? If you don't know that you need to emotionally connect to your kids, uh, then that's also a, you know, completely cuts you out. I guess there's people that are like way down the rabbit hole of like look, researching your topic that you could essentially meet them there where they're discovering, like they've already done the research and then you just show up and then you didn't do anything. And then the, the, the no like, and trust isn't that strong. So you're basically showing up where they've done all the work. Um, they've already done the work and then you show up and you're, you're basically asking for money. And you could probably do that for like a lower ticket thing to solve a problem. But what we like to do is we like to create processes, which we'll talk about later, to actually educate people on their things. But we need to attract them at their knowledge base. We need to attract, we need to catch them at where they are. You ever hear the term like- Or like, I'm gonna, either where they are, sorry to interrupt you, but I think this is important because I feel like there's high caliber clients that would know what neurodiversity is and they would know these things, but, and giving them at the, and this is a big challenge for coaches is we want to go deep real quick. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen questions going into group, like what is your life's purpose and what do you feel is stopping you? And I'm like, I just met you. I don't have time for all that right now. <laughs> like, Right. So there's a trust factor of going deeper that, in this frosting level, you want to, you want to be surface level. Like, what is it that they need? And this is a challenge for coaches. I know we want to go deep. We were like, I don't have time for small, like we're not small talking here, but it, there's a, a surface level problem that they have that they're very aware of. Yeah. So the best example it, that I see with this, if you, if you pat, back it up, right. Most parents that are dealing with you know, a neurodivergent kid um, might not know, they may or may not know neurodivergent, but what the problems that they're seeing in their life are is like meltdowns in the grocery store. Well, if they're having verbiage of, I have to deal with my neurodivergent kid or autism, then it like, they're not very informed yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, right. So, but, but, but a lot of people are not, they're, 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 they're problem aware. They know that they have a problem, but they don't know that, they might know that they're, they might've just got a diagnosis that they're autistic. They, they don't know what neurodivergent means. They don't know that emotionally connecting with the kid is going to solve or be a. Well, I think it's, and I, I have, I've dealt with autism. So it's like, they know that the emotional connection isn't there, but they don't even know what to do about it. Yeah. Right. Like, uh, I don't know. Or they don't do? know. My kid is throwing themselves. It's not talking like I, He's not reaching any of the development. Like there's a frustration, right? So you got to get into the heart of like, what are your clients really going through? And that's where we're going to go. We're, we're going to go next year. We're going to, I could. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> could I uh, would love if you worked for me. Can you just put a thingy there? Oh, is that not? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. So. We're going to talk about, so the, you want to be in the surface level. You want to speak to the problems that they're aware of. This could be great for like, um, you know, we, we attract a lot of health coaches as well, mm -hmm. right? Things that people are aware of, they're aware of their weight. They're aware of looking at the mirror and they're like, oh, what happened? Like they're aware of being tired all the time and feeling like crap. Those are things that you're like on the frosting level very aware of mm -hmm. right so you want to talk about the the we're gonna go deep i promise like i said this is you know yeah but it's not just the weight loss that i do i actually help them you know disassociate from emotional problems in their food and what's happening is their relationship and how they dealt with their traumas in their past they handled it through food we're gonna go there but we're not yeah, gonna so go look there at this, it's like it's like there's a balancing hormone coaches and 
and and a lot of it is to lose weight or there's other things right there too but they're they're not aware that the hormones oh, some are, women are some they're, very they're, aware they're, they're, depends on how old they are but that's why it's really important to know sorry to like yeah, yeah. I just, I, i'm a woman and i got hormones and i'm telling you we are aware of them so um it it goes on like how old are they because that's going to impact their hormone like as you get older your hormones become more of an issue like perimenopause menopause all of those things. Whereas when you're younger, your hormones, you can, you can start, like it could affect your, your weight, like for mm-hmm. sure. And then it, people aren't even aware of it. So that's why it's really important to be super clear on who is this ideal client. Like you're not going to always say like, yeah, I that's work why it's going to be five year right? old women who are going like, who need weight loss, but it could be like, I work with women over 40 who are experiencing perimenopause, right? Like they're, they're aware <laughs> and that's the problem for them. Yeah. So there's two things we want to look at is we want to look at the things that wake them up in the morning that gets them excited, but we want to do it in what they're aware of, right? The frosting, the surface. Salt. And then we want to also the things that are keeping them up at night, the things that they're afraid of, the things that are their frustrations, the things that are causing them, um, you know, to lose sleep. If you're if you you're losing sleep over there, you're much more. And, and I will say that people are much more likely to pay money and good money to the things that keep them up at night than the things that wake them up. And it's it. And I think it's important to know both. And so just- we are. not We aren't the like, speak to pain and bring them pain, but we're also not like, it's just all about what it is that you want. And then let's get what it is that you want, right? We are like, you want your messaging to be very holistic. And the more you know about your clients, the more you can talk about it all. And when you can talk about it all, you become the go-to. Right. I know that there are that coaches. What keeps us up at night is like, I'm not getting clients. I thought this was my calling. I didn't think this was going to be so challenging. Is this even my calling? Should I even be a coach? Like, if I'm supposed to do this, why isn't this working the way that I want it to work yet? What is going on? What am I doing? Yeah, it's like I'm doing all this posting and the posting's not turning into clients. I'm doing all this content. It's not, I have all these people liking my stuff, but they're not becoming clients. Like, why are not they throwing their credit card at me? What the hell? Um, Is it me? Right. But, and then on the other, the flip side of that, like, yes, I want to make, I want to be a service to other people. I'm out for transformation in other people's lives. When I see the breakthroughs that they have with their clients, like if I had a way that I could serve my clients that wouldn't burn me out at all. And I could just see those light bulbs every day. I would wake up so excited. Yeah. Right. And so- and on the frustration side, it's like some of you, and, and I'm just curious, checking in here, uh, making sure that everybody's not got their eyes open. All right. Um, so is that you might feel like you have all these pieces, um, but you're not sure how to put it all together into a coherent system process, uh, like a business that actually runs, you know, together. Um, so-, so how we just did that is you want to know, like, I'm not for pain marketing, but I'm not for purpose. Like I'm for holistic, all of it, Mm -hmm. because we are holistic human beings and we live on all spectrums (laughs) and there's the highs and there's the lows and we all got them. And when you can speak into it, that's when you become the authority and the go-to in your niche, because people feel like they get you. Like, obviously, you know what you're doing. You must've been doing this for a while and have experience in this. So, um, what I would do is I was actually, um, could you go back to the whiteboard real quick? Yep. If you guys have a piece of paper, awesome. Um, obviously, we're not going to necessarily have the time to do this now. But I want you to like take your paper and put like, remember that game for four square? <laughs> right. Or even take a screenshot of this and, and do this exercise. Put on some, you know, nice, binar- I love binaural tones, put on some tones, some focus music and really get into the space of like, okay, this is my person. What are they going through? What are they dealing with? And do the aspirations. So the, the difference between, why don't, can you share the difference between aspirations and desires? 
Yeah. So desire is a short term, um, like this is what I want today. This is what I want maybe this week or maybe month. Aspiration is a long term thing that is, um, it's like ours, our aspiration is to empower or to help or impact 3000 coaches that are called to make a deep impact, fulfill on that calling as an aspiration. A desire is I would like seven clients this month. Yeah. Um, and so fear and frustration, very similar. Seven more clients as well. So um, fear, again, it's like long-term. What are the things that they're afraid of? Like, oh my gosh, if my coaching business doesn't work, if I have to get a job, like this is going to suck or, you know, my partner is going to be super mad at me or whatever the thing is, there's a fear there. And right. the frustration is I am creating content all the time and people are not reaching out to me and signing what is going on, right? So there's a short-term, long-term. So when you can like map this out for yourself and really write down short-term, long-term, get into the heart of your people and your ideal clients, you're going to be able to speak to them much easier. And we're going to move through this cake as we go through this training, because the frosting is just the tip. But if you think of like why we call it a cake, but it doesn't really, it's a 2D cake is when you eat, like you take a bite of the frosting or you take a bite of the cake. The first thing you taste is all of this sweet goodness, right? I don't even need a lot of cake. I'm allergic. I don't eat gluten, but let's say it's gluten-free and uses monk fruit. <laughs> so you take a bite of this cake and it's all sweet and it's good. And it's like, mm, no. And then you continue to bite down and then you kind of go deeper. And so think of the cake method of like, you're starting with the frosting and then you're moving down into the deep, right? And as we go through this next piece of the who and the where, and really kind of showing you this map of this process, this is where your messaging starts to go deeper. Like when we talk about in the model, you have this community, well, the community, that's where you can start going deep, right? Like when, if we talk about this conversation of hormones, I think that's a great one. Um, you know, let's say you have a hormone group. Well, then in, in your group, you can talk about, you know, the cycle, living life based on your cycle or food habits based on your cycle, or, you know, so you can start, and then you can even go deeper of what is the root cause of some of your hormones. So like you have, you are bringing people in at the surface level. What is it that they need, want that they like resonate with immediately bring them into your community and then you start nurturing them by getting by going deeper you start chewing down into the cake cool yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop a link in the chat if you're somebody that's like you know what i just want the support and guidance through this i um you know this is great but i really need you guys to you know, I, I need the, how to put it all together. I need the systems. I need to, I need to get maybe some stuff out of the way so I can really take massive action or I need your guys' frameworks. I need, you know, all the things. So this is, there's no sales on this call. It's all about just seeing if it's a good fit alignment, seeing if, um, you know, if you're somebody that we'd want to take out to dinner. Um, so question, how do we position ourselves to make money and help people write this out? for yourself, like really get clear on who these people are. We're going to share the process here in just a bit, but having these things in your messaging is going to be huge mm -hmm. because when people know that you, you understand them, you hear them, you see them, There's a, um... you get them and you're a solution for all of the things that they're going through. That's how you position yourself. Yeah. So Dan Kennedy says that if you can insert yourself into the conversation that's already going into in somebody's head, then you um, are going to be like well positioned, right? I, I'm sure I don't know what the last part of the quote was, but that was the the beginning of it. So awesome. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, you want to show Aria? Yeah. All the sharing in the back and forth. All the sharing. All right. There we go. Did it. Maybe just a... When I first came into the program, I... Uh... I was living in a tent um, outdoors and um, I had had one client and I had no money. I got money from my mom 
to support me. Um, and I was struggling to accept getting a job to support myself. Um, I was super ungrounded. And I came in and like committed all in and I had so much, so much come up in the first month that um, I like blocked myself from actually accessing so much of the program. And I came back at the end and like the end of that month and um, was like really, really present and showed up and have, have shifted so much of my energy. And as you can see, I'm no longer in a tent, um, <laughs> which has been like the biggest success because it's been about two years. Um, about two years of not really feeling like I've had any stability or any grounding and of um, of having like so many blocks with my family and accessing um, support and um, love and affection with them was really hard. And so that was like one of the biggest shifts that I made that opened up myself to feel comfortable grounding and stepping forward and using all of the like information and knowledge and tools um, that I've gathered over the years of working with kids and working with families. And um, it's, it's been absolutely magical and not at all what I thought. I really, I really thought it would go differently. <laughs> and, um, and it hasn't, and I'm really grateful for it um, because I definitely had calls when I would come in and I was thinking like, okay, I'm ready to like talk about my business and talk about my program and I'd be on the call and, and Holly would just, <laughs> Holly would just kind of look down and she'd look at me for a minute and she'd be like, when's the last time you talked to your parents? And I was just, I just like watched inside as like everything tumbled around and all that emotion would come up. And um, her work in, in the Akashic Records and the support that I've had from this group has made a world of difference in um, me feeling more comfortable to be seen and being able to like open up and um, and actually step into what I want to create for myself. So it's been absolutely magical. And if you're uncertain and you feel like you don't have enough of anything, <laughs> it's completely not true. And um, having the support of someone who sees the truth of what you're capable of, it makes a world of difference. So definitely if you're on the fence, this is totally worth it. There you go. All right. It's so powerful, right? Like to make a difference with someone who lived in a tent and she's gone on and she's had you know five figure months. It means the world. So why do we do what we do as coaches for that? Right? Like, how do we get more of that? And I'm not talking just me. I'm talking about you. How do you get more of that? where, you know, maybe you're not necessarily working with someone who's homeless and making them a bunch of, of money per se, but like the breakthrough part, the thing that made the biggest difference for her was having a connection with her parents again. Didn't have anything to do with marketing and sales. The marketing and sales were certainly a bonus and she was able to actually apply them as she went through and she got really aligned to who she truly was. So I stopped watering to the next. So I want to actually, um, if it's okay, I want to see all you guys and just kind of do a check-in and see where you are. Has this been valuable for you? Are you guys getting some ideas of how to really connect and get a pathway of being able to speak clearly to your ideal people? Yes. Awesome. And even sharing stories, going to Landmark, having dog treats in my pocket, like hmm. those little stories of how you show up and you share your personality and you just are who you are starts bringing your people in, right? So let's talk about the process because it has to be a process. We can be all energy and like, who's my people and all of this conceptual stuff, but there gets to be a process and we're going to do this in a way. The thing about us is we are big on alignment, right? That whole seizure thing was a big wake up call and, and alignment and so you get to always, our job, and I feel like what makes us really different is our job will always be to get you back to your center, to hear your truth and to guide you through our expertise of, to, of navigating through that and to be able to make this work, right? So <laughs> we're going to show you the empowered client attraction pathway of like how this all, how do you put this all together? How, when you have a process, you can continually attract clients to you. I wanted to do a little pre-frame that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Thank you. So, so go ahead. Yeah. So one of the big things I want to say is we need to, oh, well, one of the things we talk about is like finding the people, right? Where are they? Now, your people might be on LinkedIn. Your people might be on TikTok. You might be, people might be on um, 
in Facebook groups. You might be in um, watching Facebook reels. You could be wherever. And this is the thing. And, and so who your person is, is going to matter where they are. So you're going to really attract them by one of two things. It's like some sort of piece of content or you're going to have some sort of comments and you're going to have a connection. It's like a networking. If people like to network offline, I had a guy that was super interested in our program that he couldn't make online work because he was an old school networker. And he would go to networking events and he would do really well. But then when online, just couldn't figure it out. But the thing is, is if you can frame that in the same way that, okay, Facebook groups, Facebook, wherever platform is just like a networking event. And I just need to connect to people just the same way as I did, would it at an event, like it, then it becomes easy. I just, you just do the same thing and it's easier because now you don't have to drive 30 minutes and park and like be around people, you know, um, <laughs> dress up, wear pants. Yeah. Wear I mean... pants. Screw that stuff. Um, you guys would never know. Um, so it's really about that content or comments, uh, and then being able to create these, I guess, friend requests, so followers, friends, follower connection. Again, you want to take your person. So this is like where your people are. And, and also like you get to love, man, love. I was super authentic. All of, I meet everybody on Facebook, but my scroll time is actually on Instagram is my favorite platform, but, and Facebook has just worked because that's where my people are and I get it. And it, Facebook is a super easy platform to meet people and to bring them in. They have a great community feature. So like or hate Facebook, whatever your story is about it is cool. But, and I have found that alignment is also like, I like being on Facebook, but I, I do enjoy like Instagram is a place where I just like to hang out. So you got to think about where are they and what's aligned to your business and to your people. So I know that my people are on Facebook. Sure. Maybe they're on Instagram, but Facebook, like I, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. And I believe that mastering something before you move on to the next thing is, is really valuable. I am on Instagram, but I'm, I'm much more successful and present on Facebook. Yeah. So with that being said, it's like, whether you take this and you apply it to LinkedIn, whether you apply it to Instagram, um, they all kind of have the same pathway. So I want you to look at this as a pathway of bringing people in who don't know who you are, that frosting, and you're biting down on the frosting. And that is where they become a friend or they become a follower. Then you can invite them into some sort of community, right? If you're using Instagram, you could create, like they have the broadcast chats, which has a bunch of groups, like a bunch of people in the chat. Um, so there's LinkedIn ways to do it. LinkedIn has groups. So there's whatever groups it is off of you, social media that are also school good. School is becoming like bigger and bigger. You can have a school community for free if you want. Telegram. So there's, there's so many here. different ways to sure. do this. I see. But it's, um yes, but it, it's all in alignment to who you are. It matters, right? It matters. If you dread, like, I don't want to be on this platform. I do not like it. That's not sustainable. And that's not impactful. <laughs> so don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Go to a place that you're like, ah, I like the vibe here. This is cool. This is fun. I can see myself showing up on this platform. I can see myself being an authority on this platform. Let's roll. Yeah. And it might be podcasts. It might be YouTube. It could be wherever. But it, it, it's all to do with your alignment. And that's what we get to do in the first couple of weeks of our program is is working with, uh, you know, how to help you come up with or help you discover your soul gifts so then we can create where you, not to shit on you, but where you should be. Um, and so, uh, and, and then it's really, and again, there are some people that can move, that need longer pathways. Um, there's people that need like longer pathways because they need the attraction. And some people they love connecting. They love reaching out. They love doing that. And they're totally down with it. We had clients that, that literally would go into a group, build relationships. They would reach out to them. They would have, make a friend with them and book a call and boom, client. It's, it's the craziest thing. 
Uh, it's um, not something I, I can personally do or would like to do, but they were able to take what we teach and be able to do it. And so we, I, I use a kind of a longer process because I like to nurture people and build a relationship and connection. And they, they've seen, long haul. yeah. Long. And I'm a creator. Like I love, I love to create. I love to write. I love to being in my creative genius. I love creating content. Like that's my, my thing. So. Well, the, here, let's check in. So who here and drop in the comments, would you think that you're more of a creator or more of a connector? And, and maybe you're both, but uh, I'm just curious if it's like a one or the other or how that looks. Yeah. It's a good, good question. Yeah. Um, so, and as we're going, cause I know there's a little bit of a delay. You're inviting them to the community. Both mm -hmm. more heavily creator. Yeah. Connector trying to step more into creating. Yeah. Got it. Both, but definitely connector first. Awesome. This is so interesting. I love that question. That is such a great question. So then when you have a community, you want to create connector and a little creator, connector creative. Awesome. This is so good. Such a great discovery about yourself. So knowing this, that you are a connector, you go out there and connect. Yeah. <laughs> Find the platform that you really resonate with. You know, where, where are your people in this? Right. And when, if we're talking about Facebook and we're talking about groups, it doesn't necessarily, I will say you will not find a high caliber client. Chances are very slim in a support group. Those people are not high caliber. Yeah. Because they're stuck on the couch, right? They're, they're wanting to be victims of their. I need a place to go complain about my problems is what a support group is. So you want to, you know, to get into like, where are these, where are these groups at that they're they're working towards something. There's something big there. You know, Tony Robbins has his group. Joe Dispenza has a group. Um, Dan, Dean Grazioli has a group like there's, and then there's women's groups. There's, you know, women empowering women. There's, there's so many, there's a gazillion groups, yeah. right? So find more of the, it doesn't have to necessarily be like, if you work with alcoholics or recovering alcoholics, like I'm going to go in this alcoholic support group because it's probably not where they are. But where, but I'm sure that there's recovering alcoholics in Tony Robbins group, right? <laughs> so you got to find your, it goes back to who are my people? What are the qualities they have? Where are they on Facebook? Connect with them. When they become a part of your community, we have a whole SOP of connecting with them. Can you move? I'm just kind of going through. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I was just going through the whole thing. You want to welcome them. You want to actually connect with them, assess where their problems are. Like what, if you can, you know, qualify them. Send if you have a training or something or a workshop or something coming up, or if you've done one in the past, give them something free. Like this is your, this is your gap here. I, I got this for you. Right? So often we go in for like, okay, they're going to become a client now. But like, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it was funny. Somebody said the other, I, I watched a video or not a video. Somebody made a post on uh, Facebook. They were like, do you, would you be willing to pay to post in a Facebook group. And I'm like, well, if they have my idea of clients and they engage and yeah, of course, it, you know, depending on the thing. And a lot of people are like, no, no, no. And one person said, I've never been able to get a client out of a Facebook group. It's not about getting clients out of Facebook group. It's about getting friends out of Facebook groups that you now nurture to become your client. It's like a completely different mindset. If you, if you're looking for the client right away, then it it's going to be very challenging. Well, moving on to the next one of the being, I feel like there's an energy when you're like hoping and hunting for clients and groups, like people feel that, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like, you know, right. Awkward. I'm not a gazelle. <laughs> like, you know, when you get those messages and your messenger, like, uh, and I feel like people are, are they're, 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 God bless them. They're working on it. But anytime a message starts with, hope you are well, like, okay, there's a sales or like lately I've gotten a, Hey Holly. I'm like, hi, mm. how are you? Good. Like, I'm like waiting. Like, what do you have? What do you, what I have you the, about to say? Yeah. But I get the, like, they like 27 of your posts and then they shoot you a DM. Um, and it's funny because I made a post the other day. I was like, I'm going to just like all your posts and then not message you. Is that cool? And everybody was like super excited about that. <laughs> yeah. So there's an, uh, there's a being behind all, like 
that under wraps and intertwines with all of this, right? And so let's kind of shift into the being. And and I hope hopefully I'm like, I'm looking at the time. And again, I want to be super mindful of the time, but this part is really important because you get to be the person that can influence. And I even someone asked about the positioning. I'm like, Positioning is, is also one of those that's like, I need to strategize and be up here. It's like when you be this authority and you be this leader and you are so embodied in your work, you know what you're doing, you know that what you do matters, you know your people, like there's an authority that comes with that, that people can feel, mm -hmm. right? And they know it. Go ahead. Did you have something or can yeah, I no, let's, on my... I'll just keep going. Okay. Um, I want to bring this into the whole the whole being piece. Is that okay? Can we play Frederick's first and then we can go more into the being because I feel like uh, this is more on the messaging and all of that. And then we'll yep, 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 yep. jump into that. But he also has a great story of being and holding the space. And so let's hear from Frederick and then I want to kind of expand because I think he's a, a perfect play. Oh, I hear a baby coming too, so. If you guys didn't get to meet the CC. Uh, one of the things, one of the biggest things I learned was that uh, we have the ability to attract the people that we want. We can charge more. Um, I learned that I didn't have to coach people for free, which is what I was doing a lot of times, but that even in the sales process um, and, you know, in this program, we don't teach selling, it's qualifying people, but um, I learned that even in sell selling or qualifying people, you can serve them powerfully. Uh, simply because you are empowering them to make decisions by doing things for them that no one else does. It doesn't have to be high pressure, it doesn't have to be pushing people, it doesn't have to be like you're out here pitching yourself. Um, I learned how to be able to take content that I'm writing, but able to use it to specifically attract people that I wanted to be able to attract into my program to be able to serve them even better. Um, I learned how to push the wrong people away so that they know that it's not for them. Um, so I can show up not just powerfully, but um, as in the way that I am most designed to do. And I think that everybody has their own unique way to shine their light. But for me, it was really, really important to be able to do that. Um, because the more authentically that we uh, feel that we are able to show up, the less restrictions and resistance we'll have to doing that. You know, so I think a lot of us feel like, oh, that's not really me. That's, you know, you're, you're adopting somebody else's persona or their own framework, or whatever the case may be. And for me, I was able to start crafting my own identity and really showing up more powerfully as a leader because this is who I am, you know? And the great thing about Chad and Holly is that they let, I'll say let, but they, they allow you and, and, and really guide you into being who you are most powerfully. So it's not just you, but it's the most powerful version of you. Um, so yeah, so the big thing with uh, Frederick, just to give an idea, like, he we helped him get to six figures and then he like took a year off he came back was our support coach for like two years or so and then we worked with him now he's consistently so this was the thing he started where he was working with like basically starter entrepreneurs he, he had a program called launch lab helping people have you know launch their business and launch their business and, and, and that was cool but then we got, it took him like two years of us like working with him to shift he, to a high caliber. Now he works with seven figure entrepreneurs. He charged, the minimum he charges is $25,000 to work with him. Um, and he has a program where he, I believe he made about $100,000 just on like, it was like in the first month of working with him because there's a revenue share um, with a business. And it was just... And so now he's just, he's obviously too good for us and he's off doing his own thing. I'm just kidding. He's not too good. No, he's... he's, he, it was time for him to fly. Right. And I freaking love that. And what I love about, you know, what, how he ended that in the being and he held the space to work with, like he knew like deep down launch lab was not it. Right. And I think that's why he struggled for a while. Yeah. And when he really got like, my people are actually six and seven figure earners. Like those are who my people are. And he had to, like, he, and he did it, 
Like he held the space and the beingness of this is who I am. I serve six and seven figure entrepreneurs to be able to scale their business. I'm a team builder. I know teams. I have a system to help people. And this is the way, right? And even when things didn't happen for him right away, he was able to hold that space that this is who I am, right? And the being is so important because the money is a byproduct of who you be right? It's like all of the strategies and the four squares and the cake and all of that is awesome. But the money comes when you are a byproduct of who you be. And when you water down who you be in the world, you water down your results. You water down the possibilities of what's possible for you. A lot of times we want to, we want to water down like, oh, I want to make a hundred thousand dollar months. Oh, that's too much. Someone thinks that like, blah, 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 what other people think, or I feel bad because I even want to make that kind of money. Or like, I would love to work with, you know, C-suite executives, but they're too hard to get. So maybe I'll just settle and I'll work with, you know, in management or executives or something like that. Right. And then you get watered down results and then it starts this loop of where you're settling of what you're not actually called here to do. Mm -mm. And if you're, uh, <laughs> we'll share the meme later, but it's like, if you're circling, you're, you're not actually circling, you're spiraling down. Um, so if you feel like you've been doing the same thing and just it's not working or not working the way that it's not really making the impact you're out for, it's that you're, 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 you're actually sliding. Um, and, and so Mike asked, so this is the thing, like that's the difference, the connector or the creator. Connectors can go out and they can just show up, connect with people and be the person that that person wants to work with. I mean, you can have a conversation with someone and you know immediately if they know their stuff or not, right? Like immediately. So it's like you could be going out there, but there's a difference between going out there and just being a value, being a connector, then being, then like pitching or hard pitching or, 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 or like pushing something. So there's a difference. So, yeah, totally. So as you're creating this, I want to real quick talk about soul gifts, because I think that not, I think this is a big part of our work in creating this in alignment to your soul gifts. Alignment is huge in our world. We don't, you know, we talk about that quite a bit, but your soul gifts are who you are at a soul level. Every single one of you have them. You actually have multiple of them. And they are probably so obvious to you that you don't even realize that they're gifts. Right. And so that's the value of when you know your gifts, you can be in your gifts, you can be in your genius points and everything can change. So most connectors that I have met so far to date are really, they have a healing quality about them. And they may not consider themselves a healer. Maybe they do consider themselves a healer. But what they do is they have such a non-judgmental space for people and people just share their life story to them. They they feel comfortable with them. They feel safe with them. They're a, easy to talk to kind of people. And then there's also connectors who are, their, their gifts are the words that they speak. They can literally say something. You ever meet, you, you know these people, like, you maybe even be one of these people is the words that you speak. You're just like, they flow out of you. And just this like, Oh, wow. Like where did this even, who would, it, how did you get all of this? Right. And, and how you speak literally shifts the way that people perceive life. We got our CCO coming in here. So we are big on family. I told you in the beginning of this, we have a baby. She's like, all right, hour and a half time to come in and party. So your marketing is going to shift dramatically. There are some people who have like such a divine wisdom. They just have this knowing about how things work. They understand energy. Hello, beautiful. They, they get it. And so the marketing shifts based on your, you know, we have the process and the structure, but how you do it, right? If you have this, this gift of speaking and communication, <laughs> I want you on podcasts. I want you doing lives, you know, stories, showing your face on camera, speak it, like literally getting speaking events. I worked with a guy who I'm like, dude, we need to get you on stages, like market it, like clients online. That's great. But we get you on stages fire. Right. And that's exactly what happened. So knowing your soul gifts and how you show up in the world, um, 
for me, I'm personally like my soul gift. I am a builder and I am a systems person. I'm like, oh, no wonder I am all into building funnels, but I also love somatics. I'm also very health conscious and I, I can my gift in the world is any one of you guys could share your vision with me and my brain will go, here's a system to put it together. And it's been like this from the time it's just who I am. Right. So knowing this has been a pinnacle and Chad is also a systems person, but he works in a little bit different and he is also a divine healing and love. So the way Charlie connects. So Charlie just said the cutest thing. She goes, is it okay if I join in? Aww. So uh, do you guys give permission for Charlie to join in if she if she chooses? She's playing a Bluey game, so she might be into that. So, <laughs> um, But just as long as we got it okay uh, from everybody. Um, all right, we're going to share the screen and do another video. She... Uh, I so agree. I so agree. Just that children are some of our wisest. You've been working with us, what, for about? Uh, maybe like a month and a half, six weeks, maybe. Like the success coach, I guess we shall say. And one of the things that I do is I build inevitable success for people. And what I do is I help them understand their unique genius. And then I help them decode that so they can apply it to all of the, the areas of their life. So that they can create momentum and overcome chaos. No, no, that wasn't the case. What was the case is I worked way too much. You guys see Charlie as a little baby. And I was, tra I was trading my time for an hourly wage, which was basically suffocating my fulfillment from life. Hourly therapy based. Um, and through this process, I've been able to switch to more of a forward focused coaching model, which definitely fits how I see the world. Therapy is great, but it has a tendency to be a little bit more reverse focused, which there was some tension inside of me because I just didn't see the world as aligned that way anymore. For sure. So the biggest breakthrough, I think, was around like getting a lot of clarity on the messaging, right? Like on being able to, well, so there's two phases of it, right? Like it's getting the language of the messaging and then it's stepping into the energy of belief of saying the message. Like, so when I first started, it was, I know the words that I'm saying, but I wasn't speaking them from inspiration. I was dancing into a topic and like, hey, that sounds like a great idea, right? And what, the pivot for me that really finally, and I, I landed a client recently was, no, I'm speaking from authority and inspiration. Like it got to the point where I couldn't not tell them this it, like it was, it would have been morally irresponsible for me to not tell them the message at that point in time. Mm. So I had to, and like, so through the process with you guys, it's been this formulating what the clarity is and then stepping into the identity of that, letting that message so that it became, it's kind of the, the, the analogy I would use is like, at the start, I was trying out a coat. And then over time that infused into being my backbone as opposed to the coat that I would take off. Does that make sense? So since I had that back breakthrough, the first kind of dip of my toe into the pool was basically taking my hourly rate and making a monthly plan out of it. And so I signed a client or two at like a monthly plan, but it, it still was limited, right? The biggest breakthrough is I just signed a six month, um, a six and a six month client at about three times my, hour, my historical hourly rate. Nice. So if, even if I broke down to the hourly, it, it's, it's way more profitable than it was before. So, That's and awesome. it's a guaranteed six months of income. So tell us, so sorry, how much were you charging an hour when you first started working with us? Mm -hmm. I was charging like between 175 and $200 an hour. Sweet. And, and then what did you turn the hour or the monthly into? So I turned the monthly into like between five or 800 based on how many sessions they were going to do that month. Mm -hmm. and, but in a month. This is a little long, so I'm going to cut that one short, but, um, you guys get the idea is like the being right. It's like getting to the, you got to get clarity on the messaging then you can get the clarity of the the being and like really just fully embody like who you are and like or who like this whole thing um so let's hello my name is marizel from houston Speaking texas of, so before i met holly and chad i was just starting out um in my coaching practice i didn't have a client yet so I had my blueprint, I had my framework, and I also had my ideas on how I want to do it. But I'm still stuck in implementing that. So when I had my first session with Holly, which is the soul alignment, that is an aha moment for me. And um, that's when I found out about my soul gifts. And also we did some clearing from my past traumas. This actually causing me to self-sabotage, to self-doubt, and a lot of limiting beliefs. So three weeks after that session, that's when I got my first $3,000 um, paid client using um, Speed Offer that Chad helped me with. 
and also now I am so fulfilled that I'm able to coach from my soul level kind of service. So if I can do this, I know you can do that too. Awesome. All right. So like we were talking about is sometimes if you're keep on going in a circle, you're not actually going in a circle. You're actually going in a downward spiral. And the thing is, is as my friend, uh, he has something called the sabotage cycle that he ta it talks about. He talks about that you're going along on your journey or your mission. And then all of a sudden you fall down and you're spiraling. But the thing is, is until you realize and it's kind of like, does anybody know about the grief cycles? It's very similar to the grief cycle in the sense is you have to accept that you're going down to actually change it and actually get back on the path. So there's two ways to go from here. Oh, this got double on there. Oh, no. All right. So you got the hard way. You can keep doing what you're doing and going that along and going the old school way. Or you can go the easy way, which, or the with ease way. <laughs> yes. And you can go at it together in your alignment and have an aligned process, clear blind spots, create that freedom, that impact, and that wealth that you're called here for. So would you guys like to see our easy way? Let's make sure we get, I see Don shaking his head. Anybody else want to see it? Christine. You're progressing with enthusiasm going up. Then you do not get the reward you need. You start cycling down. Mm, yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go. Man, I was such a mess. I like cried on my sales call and everything. <laughs> it was, yeah. I was like, I just need help because I was, I'm a, I've been a single mom with three kids and I don't have other options. So I'm like, it's either like, I have to make this work or I, I don't know, we all crash and burn or something. Yeah, I started out, uh, I mean, I was doing okay-ish. Um, you know, I was making like enough money, barely, but I really wasn't making the impact that I wanted to make. And I, I just wanted to, I needed someone to hold my hand through the process because quite honestly, there's a lot of free stuff out there. And I was like years like filling, trying to fill the gaps with all the different ideas, but it was just completely overwhelming me and hurting me because I wasn't really able to hone in on anything. So when I got into the program, the first couple months was like, my brain was just expanding with this track. And I'm kind of like, okay, well, ADHD brain, like entrepreneurial ADHD, you're kind of all over the place. Oh, I could do this and I do that. And this is like, no, we're buckling down and we're doing this for the next few months. And that was really um, probably the most monumental, powerful like shift besides the energy portion of it that you bring Holly. And uh, I came in thinking this is about my business and then got a lot of personal transformation and support, which I did not expect. So it's really holistic and I think I, I probably, it took me a few months before I hit my first five figure month. I, but in the first month I did have a 5k day. So that was exciting. Um, and then that started becoming more regular. Probably almost everybody's is gonna be money. And I'll just say that if you all don't have, or you know, if I, where I was before, like, like I said, single mom, no financial backing, I gotta make this happen or else. However, I also was in business for two years before that and wasted a lot of time trying to figure out the processes myself. And I could have been making money the whole time, like the kind of money I really wanted the whole time if I had just been like, okay, I'm gonna take the leap financially, but I didn't for so long. So that's probably my one regret is not just spending the money first. I made my money back in the first few weeks. I'd love to see you grow. Thank you it's so much. All of like complete I, I transformation. Yes. <laughs> so with that, here is your invitation. Let's jump on a call and see if it's a good fit for us to support you. We'll go into your where you want to go, where you currently are, what's in the way of getting you there, 
We all know that clarity is half the battle. And towards the end, we'll make sure that we're all aligned. And if you are, then we'll schedule a second call to go much deeper and see if you're a good fit for the called coach, which is the ultimate way we get our clients' results. So Chad has put the link in the chat bot or, or the chat bot, the chat over there, the little chat box. And then there's also a little QR code. If you're on your phone, you can scan that and then it'll go up to a calendar as well. Awesome. Appreciate you. See you, Pam. Oh, that was, I don't know why that's there. We'll just keep it. Now, wait. The beginning. I just had it over. Huh. Keep going. Me. Boom, boom. There it is. <laughs> so the truth is one training isn't enough to overcome all the challenge you'll face if you go it alone. Like feeling like you should be further ahead than you are or making more income, but not more profit feeling like this is harder than it needs to be, get feeling burnt out, untapped potential, uh, not excited about your business, frustrated that you have all the pieces and you can't put it all together, unable to attract your ideal clients, feel like Thanks, you're spinning Mike. your wheels, um, feel like you're not fulfilling your purpose, knowing what to do, but not taking the actions or feeling like you're an invisible, like this invisible block is stopping you and you're not quite sure what that is. So the called coach is our premium program. It's a premium coaching program and it gives coaches the margin to help you identify, redefine and shift the exact blind spots in your mind, your body and your energetics that are keeping you stuck, burnt out and frustrated. We answer your questions. We give you one-on-one -on -one specific guidance and create custom plans with you according to your soul gifts. We guide you as you craft and execute your custom client attraction process. We extract these gifts in, in all of your modalities and help you package it into a true custom north, a true custom, sorry, Charlie, I love you, baby. So ultimately we create your program in alignment to who you are. We take all these modalities and gifts and package them together into a leveraged transformational experience for your clients. We clarify your niche, your messaging, your strategic content, your strategies so that they're in alignment to your soul gifts. And we analyze with you the pieces of your marketing, your messaging, your sales conversations, like to make sure that you're really getting the results that you're here for, right? We walk you through any limitations that you may face, face in your business or really your life because your life and your business kind of intertwine together that may come up and support you on a mind, body, and a soul level. So some of the things that you get when you're coming to the called coach. So we start off with a one-on-one -on -one alignment session with me. This is where we oh. talk. Yeah, it's okay. This is where we go through your soul gifts. We create a custom roadmap with you based on your soul gifts. This is how Marizel got her. My session oh. with you, Holly, has been amazing. Hello. I oh. didn't know what to expect, <laughs> but I knew it was going to be something good and special and something I haven't experienced before. It really felt like something that I've been needing for a very long time, and especially now, without really knowing exactly what it was. And it really, I've come away with this incredible feeling of being more self-centered than I have been in years. And um, the clearing has really worked, and it is this huge energy shift that I may have come to by myself, but I don't know when. Um, it would have could have taken me months, years, or maybe not at all. And here, just in this short period of time, so many things that have been niggling at me and holding me back um, feel removed. And instead of feeling heavy and burdened by them, uh, instead of letting them dictate me with their negativity, I now feel light as a feather and I feel free. And um, I I feel, I just feel tingly all over with excitement. Oh, I love I, you. I highly recommend this for everyone. Everyone needs this. Um, what a gift. What a gift. Holly has a true calling and a true gift. And I feel so much gratitude uh, for this experience. So since this so video, much. she's went from having 200 views on her videos to now having a uh, view videos with, I want to say a few of them with over a million, 2.5 million. Thank Boom. you. There you go. Yeah. So the way of being showing up is doing that attracting. Super grateful for you, Laurel. 
So I'm curious what it would be worth to you if you completely shifted the way that you run your coaching business, fulfilled your calling and had a multiple six figure coaching business because you created this all in your soul aligned gifts and you're able to genuinely attract your soul clients because you receive the tools and the support to let go of the fear, the doubt, the stories that you tell yourself that stop you from being and doing what you know you were put in this world to do because you're able to take all of the modalities and finally be able to create something unique and transformative for your clients because you have a community of support and experts who have done it, been there. We've been in the trenches. We stay in the trenches because this is our calling and what we're here to do. We understand the strategy. We understand the energetics. We understand alignment at a full mind, body, soul level to guide you along every step. So some other things that you get in the cult coach, you get the one-on-one -on -one alignment session with me. Then we have weekly momentum uh, and a mentoring call with Chad and Holly. So we meet twice a week. Catch the replay if you can't make it. This is like a screenshot of, you know, we're always doing something different and unique. We have our messaging call. We have our momentum call. Sometimes we'll talk. Yeah, I agree with, with everything Bethany said. And, and I love how, like, I feel like this community sort of just matches my vibe. And it, like you said, it just kind of happens naturally when we're all your perfect clients. But I've been in other groups before where it's a lot more cookie cutter it's more like um you know everything is has a lot of rules and you got to wait your turn and and you guys are just like what do you need you know do you want to get on a call let's get on a call it doesn't have to be you know such a regimented program and it's it's just the way that that i like to work and and i think like everybody just seems like happy good like energetic people that that we all kind of vibe together and it just it comes from chad and molly so thank you awesome. thank you so you get the weekly live momentum we do a bi-weekly live energetics and blind spot support so we do a process called cellular alignment or sometimes we go into the akashic records it's really like feeling into the energy and the flow and moving into this being portion and what it is and how that how that looks in that particular moment. So I can't say that's always structured of like, here it is. It's always a surprise on the energetics calls and it's always an incredible transformative experience. Hey, I want to just do a quick video to talk about the power of these energetics calls and the healing that goes along with it. Um, the energetics calls, the meditations and the breathing, you know, the soma breath is very intense and it's, it rapidly brings up a lot of stuff for shifting, um, not for the faint of heart, but for the courageous. And, and so I'll just say, Hey, you're on, you're on the journey, get to it get it going <laughs> and uh, really dive into it because they're, cause they're really amazing and they're powerful. Alrighty. Peace. Uh, be the Buffalo. The trigger is in the transfer. The transformation is in the triggers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you get the one-on-one -on -one alignment session. You get the weekly live momentum and mentoring call, the bi-weekly live energetics and the blind spot support. You get a full called coach membership site to learn at your pace. There's worksheets, there's workbooks, there's resources to help you map out your entire coaching business. Uh, we also are doing like live trainings. We have all sorts of things going on in the called coach. It's just like a screenshot of. Isn't that branding yeah. amazing? Crush it. I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So on top of all of that, you also get the community. This community is powerful. Right. You talk about high caliber ideal clients. We have high caliber ideal clients. Right. And there we get, you know, a whole community our community. We've had partnerships where people have written books together. They've partnered together. They've collab made collaborations. Like I am so blown away of the community of people that we've been able to work with. So you get the support. You are not doing this alone ever. Yeah, it's super interesting. Ever heard, since I heard that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally taking that on. So mm -hmm. here's a little screenshot of our community. And again, if you're seeing this and you're like, all right, let's book a call. Let's see. There's a link in the chat bot 
check. I just want to call it a chat bot. It's not this box, or you can take a picture with your phone and get the QR code. Well, sorry, I have a baby stomping on me at the same time. On top of all of this, the alignment, the bi-weekly, the weekly momentum and the mentoring, the momentum and the mentoring, excuse me, it's been two hours now. <laughs> You're also going to get a private chat with me and Chad. So you have someone who can help you with questions and support. I will say this is like a the stop it's are, a logistical thing so it's like hey where's the link hey what time is this and we get back at our convenience yeah within 24 hours um if, if you message us at three o'clock in the morning we're not going to get out of bed and message you but we will be there in the morning because we also uh we were thinking and we're like all right how can we help you literally have everything that you need right we want to be the go-to well accountability that's why if you don't hear from us at three o'clock in the morning, you can come to the daily accountability call. You, we meet every morning. We go through what is it that you're out for. We have, we end it with a be impactful. It's a great energy to start the day where you're vibrant, you're ready. It just puts you in this mode for the rest of the day. Yes, I love it too. On top of that, we wanted to go even deeper. Can you? Yeah holding a, a little one here too. So we were thinking like, okay, what are some other challenges that we know coaches have that we are very good at? So having all your tech platforms, like the funnels, the autoresponders, the emails, the calendars, the website hosting, the membership places, if you had them all in one place and we have templates that are created with the same funnel that use, I don't know if you can see us, but we have, here we are with Russell Brunson. If you don't know what the Two Comma Club Award is, it means that we've had a funnel that is made over seven figures, All right? So we got this fancy award, got to meet Russell Brunson, be on stage. The point is we're going to give you the templates of the funnels that we've used that you can plug into. All of this is included in this. So it will, it's literally, if you put all of the tech stuff piece and pieces together, it's around 600 monthly and we charge around 50,000 to do it for you and then work with you for a whole year. So the tech is all included in the called code, not the done for you part, but the templates and the actual tools are available for you. Uh -huh. Included like where you don't pay anything for those Correct. as long as you're in the program. Correct. So with that being said, it is said that experiencing a live event can be a truly unforgettable experience. It allows you to connect with speakers, other attendees in a way that's not possible through a screen. And the energy and the atmosphere of a live event cannot be replicated and it can leave a lasting impression long after the event is over. Do we have any event lovers here? I freaking love events, which is why we wanted to give you guys a free ticket to our next live event that's included in the called coach. So you get all of this plus the daily accountability call, the free system for all your funnels, your memberships, every tech that you need with the templates, a ticket to our next live event. There's the calendar. I'm totally carrying a three-year-old while I'm doing this. So if I'm... <laughs> they say a goal without a plan is just a wish. So we want to make sure that you have a plan. So you get the accountability calls, the free systems, the ticket to our next live event. And we also have a waterfall project management tool that has a custom momentum profit plan in it. So in our one-on-one -on -one call, we'll, we'll create the custom momentum profit plan. You'll have a water, it's what we call a waterfall project management. So it has like all of the things you can easily like check, 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 checklist make things so much easier, right? It's in a fancy Excel sheet. You don't have to do anything except- Yeah, who would like to like know exactly what you need to do every day? Like you just wake up and you have a checklist like do, 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 and then clients essentially pop out on the other end. Yes. Yes, that's what that is. Yes. I, I would say, first of all, every coach needs a coach. I, I teach that to my own coaches and I've worked with a lot of coaches and they've all been great. But one thing that you're going to find missing often, most often, always for me until I met Holly and Chad, is the systems piece of it. You, you'll you receive the coaching, you'll receive the healing, which all coaches bring, right? That, that's our intention in life. But you get to learn how to create systems in a way that brings and attracts your people.
and I have been looking for that for a very, very long time. I've been a coach since 2010, and I've always said I just keep throwing spaghetti at the wall. And while I have a successful business, and I'm super grateful that I do, I am learning things that I wish I would have learned anywhere along the way. And I'm super grateful. You, you, it, this is not easy to come by. Um, I know for a fact that I'm in the right place. And I'm not saying that for anyone else to hear or to project some sort of image. I know I'm in the right place. Um, I did in the first place, but even more so now, I almost feel even more raw than I was before. And there's a sense of freedom that comes with that. <clears throat> But like, I can feel you, I feel you. Okay. And, yeah. and I can so appreciate not just because you said your story is just like mine, mm -hmm. but I can feel that you lived it too. You know what I mean? And everybody that you draw in is because of your light, everyone, everyone. And so I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't, I feel like my ego is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and my light is getting brighter and brighter being a part of this. Wow. I do. So just I want you guys to know that you do have that quantum impact. <laughs> you do. I have yet to be able to watch that and not get all teary. <laughs> all right. So the bad news is that because of our obsession of maintaining our result rate and the sheer volume and all of the things that we do, we have moved this program to invite only and only extend invites to the students who are certain are going to crush it and add to the result rates. It's all about this high caliber, like you're willing to do the work, let's freaking go. Um, so that being said, you may or not be presented an invitation depending on how the call goes. So we're going to go into where you want to go, where you currently are, and then what's in the way of you getting there. Right. And then towards the end, we'll make sure that we're aligned. And if we are, we'll schedule a second call. If for whatever reason we're not, then we have some resources of where we can send you and where would be the best place for you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. So either way, the call alone will be extremely valuable and one of the most profitable ways that you can spend your time. So don't feel too let down if you're not extended an invitation. We have lots of resources. And if you're the right fit, you know, we will we will go from there. So Chad has dropped the link. There is a cool little QR code there that you can just scan on your phone. And bada bing, bada boom, the calendar is up. Now, a few questions that come up quite a bit. I've tried everything. What if this doesn't work? Well, if something isn't working or it hasn't worked in the past, it is because there's some sort of blind spot or something that is getting in the way, right? One of the main get this out of the way. One of the main focuses on our program is to discover and clear blind spots that are stopping you. I have a lot of training in this between the subconscious and the nervous system and how they work together and how we can reprogram our subconscious and nervous system together and mind, body, soul thing, right? So we use clearing techniques, the nervous system, subconscious and soul level to help you move those things that haven't been working and start reprogramming and redefining some past stories so that we can create your future really powerful. Other people have asked, is there a guarantee? So what we have to say about guarantees is if you are not satisfied with the results that you are seeking in the duration of the program, we will work with you for free until that you do. Boom. And that you're, you know, doing the work and stuff. You so. there is a condition there. You you need to be showing up to the calls. You need to be asking for help when you need it. You need to be going through the the modules. So it's like you got to be putting in the work of the program. Like you can't just we'll match your energy. <laughs> yeah, is that fair? <laughs> so how long does it take to get results? So this is we're gonna start. So this is how it goes. We're gonna we're gonna create the one on one. We're going to start working on where's your low hanging fruit. We're going to do your realignment session. And we're going to create a roadmap. I like to get them in within the first week, depending on volume, but typically within the first week, this is like 
First thing that we do. Our commitment is to give you everything that you need to go out and take action. I can't say how long it's going to take. It really does depend on the person, the being, the, the things that they got going on. But our commitment, you know, is to be there with you. We've had clients get results in the first two weeks. You know, I think Joy said it took her like a month. Like everyone is in a different part of their journey. We're going to meet you where you are. What if I don't qualify for the called coach? Oh, what if you keep going backwards on the slide? All right. So they say, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be open to you. If you don't qualify for the called coach, we'll direct you to somewhere that can help you. All right. We've been in the business and industry for a while. We know people. All that said, I hope you're as excited as I am because this will be truly a life-changing call for you. And with that, my friends, I appreciate you. I honor you. I am going to stop sharing my screen. So if you want to take a picture, but it's also in the chat box, then that is good as well. Thank you so much for your time today. I do not take it lightly that you have spent it with us. Uh, go ahead and book that call if you haven't already. And I just am sending you so much love and so much gratitude and so much just blessings on your journey and what it is that you're up to. We will talk soon and I will see you on the other side. Bye guys. Click the link. Oh, there's two messages. Let me make sure I got everything. Ah, thank you. Bye guys. <laughs>